To help you understand how to do the simulation component of your project, we're going to consider the following example. A picture of a pizza is shown, and one of two questions is randomly assigned to the individual. Question one is, would you eat this pizza? And question two is, would you eat this vegan pizza? The question is, does the word vegan bias the results? And you can see the results here in this table. And then here are the results as proportions. 93% said yes to the unbiased question, and only 49% said yes to the biased question. So we are gonna use CODAP to see if we can get these results by chance alone. To do the simulation for your project, you're gonna to go to codap.concord.org and you'll click on Launch CODAP. You'll choose Create New Document, and then you're gonna click on a table. I'm gonna name our new data set, Eat Pizza, since that's our example and that's what our example is about. And I'm gonna change my attribute name to be response. And the responses we had were yeses and nos. So I'm gonna type in Y for yes and N for no. And if you recall, what happened in our experiment was we had a total of 51 yeses and four nos in response to the question, would you eat this pizza? And 22 yeses and 23 nos in response to the question, would you eat this vegan pizza? So this is a total of 100 responses. And so I need to enter all the different responses we got, which was a total of uh, 73 yeses and 27 noes. So you'll notice that we have a total of 100 cases here, which is a combination of yeses and noes. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sampling from this collection of 100 yeses and noes, and we're going to be determining is it likely to get 22 yeses and 23 noes by chance alone? Because if we didn't bias the results with the word vegan, we'd expect people to say yes, no matter what. So we wanna know how likely is it to get this response of 22 yeses and 23 noes. And so I'm gonna choose plugin here and sampler. And down here, uh, I need to zoom out here a little bit. You can see we've got a collector. And when I clicked on that word collector, eat pizza popped up here. And I am going to be sampling not just five, but 45 items from this collection. And I will do that just once to have us uh, start this simulation. Um, so that 45 corresponds to the total number of yeses and noes that we had in our, would you eat this vegan pizza group. And for options, I'm gonna choose without replacement because we would not ask a person more than once. And so that means we also don't wanna select that person more than once in this simulation. I'm gonna move this over to fast and then click on start. And so what is happening here is these circles with the yeses and nos are getting randomized. And you can also see that we've got yeses and nos popping out here along the side. Those correspond to the yeses and nos that are being selected in this simulation. And then over here, we're gonna see those results in a moment. We can see we did one sample of size 45. That happened one time. And you can see we have a whole bunch of yeses and noes here. And we could of course count those by hand, but we're gonna have CODAP help us with that. I'm gonna click on add a new attribute to this table. And I'm gonna call this attribute count. And I'm gonna click on this and edit a formula here. We're gonna insert a statistical function that's actually called count. If you wanna learn about any of these other statistical functions that are here, you could click on the I in the circle at the end of any of these rows. And I'm gonna count on the response. And response is not capitalized there, response. And I don't wanna count all the responses. I only wanna count the responses that were yes responses. So I'm gonna say response equals, and in quotes, we have the letter Y. I'll click on apply, and I can see we have 31 yes responses. And so now I'm gonna create a graph. 
of this count. It'll be a dot plot. That'll happen as I do this simulation more times. I'm gonna do this a total of 99 more times. We'll do this as fast as possible so this doesn't take too long. Let's click on Start. And so we can see that we are doing a total of 100 samples of size 45. And we can see that at no point did we get 22 yeses by chance alone. Um, if you wanted to actually be able to get the actual count of how many dots are on each of these, you could actually group into bins and then choose bin width of one and fuse dots into bars. This would actually allow you to see the number of values within each of the counts. So we never had 22 happen by chance alone. The lowest value we had for yeses was 26. So that means that our inserting of the word vegan biased the results.